I've always known what it's like to not have any money because I, because my dad would never fucking, <laughs> like, he never wanted to give me any money to help me, like, do stuff. Like, all my friends would always be like, we're going to go bowling. And I would be like, oh, cool, I want to come. And they're like, cool. So it costs, like, $8 per person for the lanes, and then there's, like, soda and food. And I was like, oh, so I need, like, 20 bucks at least to, like, go bowling for a night. Uh, I don't know how to do that. And they're like, oh, we, our parents just gave us $20 to go bowling. And he's like, my parents didn't really do that very often. My mom would. My mom would help me out a bunch. My dad never did. My dad was uh, super hard-ass about it. Um, and, like, never fucking... He was just like, fun! Fun's not something you spend money on. It, you spend money on what I dictate you spend money. That's sort of the household that I came up with, right? So, um, when I was about 10, my mom started giving me an allowance about uh, of a dollar a week. And my sister got $2 a week. But we had a list of chores we had to do. Every single week, we had to complete these chores... Uh, and complete our homework and make sure that our grades were keeping up and we got a dollar from my mom every week and my sister got two when I was 12 I got bumped up to two she got bumped up to four so we always kind of had a little bit of money and we always like our 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 household was ra- like I was raised with like having responsibilities surrounding that sort of stuff um, so my my dad kind of got a little pissy about the allowance thing uh, and my sister and I were basically like, okay, well, we're done with him trying to control us with, with finances. So we, um, so my sister, you know, like we, we were like, we got to get jobs. We don't want to be under his thumb anymore. So, uh, my sister got a job at Subway when she was in high school and I couldn't, I was way too young. I was four years younger than my sister. So I was still like 12, right? I was still like getting that $2 a week. And every so often, my mom would give me a little little bit extra to go, you know, go to a movie with my friends or what have you. And so, when I was 14, I was finally like, fuck this shit. I gotta get it. I got, I don't want to, I'm so tired of him, like, every time that I want to go out with my fr- friends, giving me a whole bunch of shit. You know, like, making me feel bad, making me feel like I'm an asshole, all this other shit. Like, I'm just fucking done with it. So, I, my first job that I ever got uh, was at Subway. And uh, I was 14, and I worked uh, two days out of the week. I worked every Saturday and Sunday for four hours. Um, and I would make my sandwiches, and I would make about 50 bucks a day. Uh, or was it 50 bucks a day or 50 bucks a weekend? Oh, man, this was so fucking long ago. Uh, this was 16 years ago, you guys. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, okay, I think it was, I think it was about 50 bucks a day is what I ended up getting, kind of. Plus tips, that's right. It was 50 bucks plus tips, so I would always get a little bit extra, And basically what my mom would do is take half of that and say, we're saving this up. We're saving this up. So I would always have uh, some money on hand as a 14-year-old. And none of my other friends had money, right? So that's kind of how I was able to afford, uh, like, my comic book collections. Like, I had a comic book collection. My sister helped me start that. um, And she basically, like, got me this like, big, big collection of comic books from eBay, uh, for, like, getting out of eighth grade, uh, alive, (laughs) like, that was the fucking present, uh, so right before I got into high school, I got, like, a bunch of fucking Spider-Man comics, um, like, Maximum Carnage, uh, some of the Venom stuff, I got a couple of the Clone Saga ones, which was, which was, like, I read them, and I was like, why is this happening with (laughs) Spider-Man? Like, I have no fucking connection to Ben Riley at all. Like, I do not care about this character. And I have, like, five fucking books where he's the fucking guy. And it, I was, like, so pissed off about it that I didn't even want to ever read it. Uh, but I would, like, go. And then, like, I started getting, like, the Ultimate uh, series. I had a couple Fantastic Four books, a couple X-Men books. Um, 
so I would collect those stories. Like she got me started on a couple of stories, and so and then I and then I started collecting mangas. So I had a big collection of mangas. Uh, I I almost got through the Helsing ones. I kind of wish I like I don't remember the story entirely, but I really fucking liked Helsing when I was in, when I was in high school, right? And, and I was working at uh, at Subway and making my money, and then I would go and I like that's what I would do. I would get paid. I get paid in cash. I get some tips, and then I would uh, I would uh, and then I would like take half of it and I would put it in a different spot in my wallet and take the other half of it. And I would go and I would spend like uh, 14, 15 bucks on mangas and comic books from Barnes and Nobles because that was the only place I could go to to like buy fucking comic books. And then I would get back on the fucking train and go home. And I would read that shit on the train. It would be, I would be so fucking excited about it. And none of my friends could do anything, right? Like, cause they didn't, they didn't have expendable income, so like they didn't fucking buy any of this shit. Um, you know, but they were also like, they didn't need to because if, because like they all spent their, they all had like video games and video game systems and stuff like that. And, uh, and look, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like judgmental about the way they were raised or anything. It was just completely different circumstances. Um, and when I was a kid, I was kind of fucking envious of it, but like they, you know, if, if they wanted like Halo 2, they just got Halo 2 from their parents, and it was never a question, and I was just like, what the fuck is that like? <laughs> like, what is, you know, I was kind of, kind of mildly resentful of it, um, and, but, but I think it, like, I don't know, it made me who I am today, and it made me see a different side of things, and it, and it, like, brought me up a specific way that I, I don't think I would ever change, right? So I worked through Subway, um, pretty much all through high school. Uh, over the summers, I would do two different stores, uh, and I would work like six hour shifts instead of four hour shifts. And same thing is they would give me cash at the end of the day and we fuck right off. Um, so I had, I had amassed a pretty decent comic book collection by the end of high school, which I was like super fucking proud of. Uh, comic book and mangas, and uh, and then I kind of didn't want to do. I hated Subway. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio political environment, current news stories. Uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian, and uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.